Okay, let's see how we can color correct this picture here in uh, three easy clicks. So we're going to be using adjustment layers, and I pulled out the panels that we're going to need. So all we need is our layer panels, and really only uh, our adjustment panel. And we're going to be using curves is going to be our adjustment here. So you see when you roll over these little symbols here, it tells you what it is up in the left hand corner here. So we're going to use curves. So let me click on curves. And we're going to get this dialog box here. Now if you like, you can make this bigger a couple of ways. You can go to the menu here, go to expanded view. Or let's go back to the regular. Or you can also click this icon down here. This also switches to expanded view. Just makes things a little bit bigger. Uh, let's move this down here, closer to our picture. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to tell Photoshop what part of this picture we want to be the darkest area, what part we want to be the lightest area, and what part is going to be like our neutral gray and then Photoshop will be able to fill in all the tones in between so I'm going to grab this black eyedropper here this is going to set our darkest tones so I'm going to say I want this fin here to be the darkest black in this photo let me click on it there we go it looks better already now I'm going to go to this white eyedropper and look for the brightest part of this picture the part of the picture that I want to be the whitest white so I'm going to use this fish's face over here and now this one's a little trickier this is your uh, neutral gray set the gray point so I'm going to click on this guy here and I'm going to pick a fish that I think is pretty much what I want to be my neutral gray so in this case, because this is in water, so usually as you go to the background, things are going to get bluer and bluer because of the water. But I'm going to pick this guy here. He's sort of in the foreground, and I think he should be gray. Let me click on this. All right, not too bad. Maybe it's slightly red, but we can adjust that later. Uh, I'm going to leave this. We can also adjust it here with the curves levels here, but... Uh, let's keep things simple for today. So actually, I'm going to accept that. But let's see what we got going down here. These are new uh, in CS4 and CS5. So this guy here is going to show us what the previous state is. So here's what we started with. When I let go, we can see all the changes we made. Uh, this guy is going to turn off the layer. If you look in the layer panel here, what happened when we clicked this adjustments here it made an adjustment layer so everything we just did is totally non-destructive everything can be undone it's all done with this adjustment layer which affects every layer that's below it if you don't like it you can turn it off by unclicking the eyeball here uh, you can delete it you can start all over again but none of the original pixels in this picture were destroyed. So pretty much in just three quick little clicks here we fix this picture up immensely. Uh, you can also do some little adjustments like if you want to generally make it lighter you can click in the middle here click and drag straight up. So this is affecting mainly the mid-tones. Your shadows and your highlights are not being affected as much. And again if you want it to be darker you can just drag it down. And this is affecting mainly the midtones. So I don't want to get too advanced, but we can do some adjustments with the red, the green, and the blue up here by playing around with the curves. But let's leave that for now. Okay, so I hope this helps you out, and we'll see you soon for another video podcast.